I speak to you my precious angel on our beautiful terrain. Yes, my dear terrain family, I love you all so very much. We have before us these days so many challenges, many are personal but many more are on the international level. It is the issues of international level that I plead with you that we come together as one voice. It is imperative now more than ever before. Have we had opposite ways of thinking in the past? Yes. Have we faced terrifying situations before? Most absolutely true for both of these questions. Ask yourself, and think deeply and honestly from your heart. Why is there hate? Why is there fear? Does it achieve anything good? Why can't we be like we were in the days of Lyra or Atlantis? When we had full knowledge of who we were and lived in love of all things and peoples. We honored our families and had respect for our mother Terra some call here Gaia. What happened? Where did we go wrong? Or did we? It is quite simple that we have been taken over by hostile forces, covert evil that lives to do harm to all. We are in danger these days more than you know of becoming extinct. So petty differences or issues are more than ridiculous at this point. The radiation that has been dumped into our waters, soil, and air are the reasons we have so much disease. Our air is being sprayed daily by the UN and NATO. Our weather is being used against us in wicked ways thanks to HAARP and other weapons that the military-industrial complex wants to utilize and it is all being made okay to do. Why? Need you ask? The reason is to cull the herd. If we become extinct, it is fine with them and in fact most preferred. These entities are the same ones that ruined Mars. Mars once looked like Earth, rich in life and resources. Mars now looks like a war zone. Why? Now they are back up on Mars in secret, because the radiation levels must be well enough to start a colony there, but I would not venture there. The evil ones want us at each other's throat at all times as war is profitable for them. It keeps us distracted from their killing games and they also feed off the negative energy much like parasites, which is what they are. Check out David Itch's information on YouTube and his website. It is hard to swallow for some of us, but once the shock factor is gone then what do we do about it? We need the international prayer to bring peace on earth. I sing that song as often as I can. It lifts my heart and I feel the peace within and send that love to each soul and to our mother Terra. Wherever you are on the beautiful earth. I hope you will take 15 to 30 minutes each day or as much time as you can to meditate or pray religion is not an issue here. You need to work from the heart. Think from the heart. Love from the heart. We need to focus on our beautiful planet being completely healed and all her children, all races and colors, all life fond and for her to be healed and completely restored. We need to send out tons of love to those we have felt have harmed us. We need to forgive and forget not easy I know. We are divine and need to act like the divine beings that we are. When we all can envision Eden again on this earth, it will happen. The event is waiting for us to bring it forth. We are kept busy with BS so we will not think to do what we have the power to do. For those who are very much into the Bible, you know the power of prayer. Right? For those who are spiritual, you know the power of meditation. Right? For those who don't know, reach down deep within your hearts and find that truth that is who you are. You are precious beyond measure. You are so loved. Say the following prayer slash affirmation. I am love. I am peace. I am hope. I am wonderful. I am powerful. I am bliss. I am beautiful. I am bountiful. I am immortal. I am invincible. I am protected. I am the sovereign authority of myself. I am healed. I am a healer. I am divine. I am that I am. Envision the world like Eden, the sky clear, the clouds normal and sweet puppy ones like we had before the chemtrails began. The water pure and sweet. The oceans and land is filled with bountiful life that is kind and constructive to each other. I am bountiful. I am beautiful. Envision that people everywhere are hugging, 
shaking hands and greeting each other with pure love for each other. See in your mind a beautiful blue flame of protection, purity, power and truth. That no one can lie to another and see the beautiful pink flame of unconditional love. The purest and truest form of love that exists. Loving without expectations, without limits, with pure intent and emotions. It is bliss. I am bliss. Envision the children being born without illness or defects caused by the toxins poured on us that ever turned by the cabal. I am a healer. I am hope. Envision a world without the evil of any kind, a world of peace and love. I am peace. I am love. I am that I am. This is very powerful my dearest angelic friends. You are creators. We are creators. What we see, we can achieve. We can manifest love and peace eternal or we can die in the chaos from the toxic evil that is trying to steal our precious earth and our lives. So it is up to you, to unite as one voice, one heart and do this daily wherever you are. Find the time to do this. Break the chains that bind us and let our hearts be free. I hope you will join me. Feel free to share this with everyone you know. Let us send out a chain letter of hope and mission of joy to every heart that is willing to sing a different tune from what we have had in this world. Let our voices join as angels in glorious song of love and truly see that love come radiating from your hearts out to everything and everyone. I love you all. Be at peace and joy always. Angel Eve. Websites. Angelforlight.wordpress.com. And angelforlight.com.